Good morning, everybody. Well, today is one of the prettiest days, to be honest. It is really nice and warm. I think it's going up to 16 degrees this afternoon, and you can feel it. The air is really nice and warm. Still pretty chilly in the shade, but you can feel the warmth in the air. And uh, hopefully that will help me with my laundry project. Hopefully that uh, will make my time more pleasant in there. Uh, not that cold. Going back home from a little walk with Sherry and you can see the sunshine. It makes a huge difference. Sherry, come on. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. And uh, I'm going back and I'm continuing with the laundry. How much will I achieve today? I don't know. But honestly, I want to finish this room as soon as possible. At least to finish, like the biggest step forward will be having all the walls well rendered. That will make a huge difference. Then it's more pleasant part of the project. But I'm afraid um, the rendering will still take some time. The ceiling is the most challenging part. I don't know actually how to render the ceiling because the mix I use, it is, it's heavy. So I tried when it goes onto the vaulted ceiling, it actually falls down. It doesn't stick to the wall. I wet the wall. I, 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 I tried to mix the rendering mix um, different ways more liquid, more solid. It doesn't really stick that well to the ceiling, so I don't know. Come on, Sherry, the laundry room is waiting for us. Well, not for us, for me. You will be staying by the fire oil all day long, don't you? Oh, lucky thing. Are you ready to go home? Are you ready to go home? But how? Well, wait, wait, wait a second, Sherry, wait, wait. Come here, come here. Let me let let me tell you something. Come here, come on, good girl. Listen, how about working in the little garden? Huh? How about that? What do you think? Oh, you've got enough. Oh, you've got enough. We can work in a little garden together, can't we? Huh? Mm -hmm. Good girl. In the little garden, um, I pruned the raspberries. Actually, I don't know how tall I have to leave the stems. So far, I did just random trimming. And uh, the rose, the rose that have been here for ages. Look at those shoes, it's huge. Um, then what else happening? We have donkey poop here. Wonderful. We have um, a rose happening here. Look at that beauty. This is another rose that has been here in this garden. Beautiful thing. And uh, the roses, the buried roses that I planted this autumn, oh, they look a little bit dry. I can see some of the branches are dead. Actually, I don't know if they will come back. This one looks a little bit sad. Um, then here as well, actually, I'm a little bit worried. They look very dry, though the soil is fine. This one actually has nice knots here. But still, I don't know, they look different. Last year, Bearwood Roses, they were so much better. Yeah, so we will see what happens with those. And then here I planted, maybe a month ago, I planted onions. Here they are. I'm not sure, they're going quite slow. This one is fine. The rest, the whole patch are onions. Uh, and I placed this uh, mesh so the cat doesn't go in. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> they they don't really look um, happy. They look kind of strange, I would say. Not much happening to the onions. I don't know if you can see there. So, yeah, like that. 
And here we have, I think, coriander, tiny little coriander here. And this is it. And we have some wheat. <laughs> oh, finally, the soil is not frozen in the little garden, so I can play a little bit here. I think I'm ready to go into the laundry and do a very good job for today. But now I'm realizing, uh, are we having just two bags of mix? I thought that we have plenty in the summer kitchen. And what I saw was uh, we are empty bags. We don't have any more mix. Just two bags. Two bags aren't enough for today. Every day I was doing three bags, a maximum four. Four is a good, good amount. Two is too, too little. Oh dear. Do I have to go to buy more mix? I hope they will let me get it because they're closed already. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's see. Uh, first thing, as always, I will smooth the wall. Oh, it looks so good. Yesterday I managed to do a lot. So I did uh, all that. I haven't finished there. A little bit uh, makes me to just finish the top of the wall. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That looks so good. So first I uh, will smooth the wall. And here as well, this corner. Oh, this is so good. That is a very good exercise. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, they, I can feel my shoulders. Uh, well, it is nice and smooth, though I have one problem now. As I already knew that I can live for one night um, the wall without smoothing it and smooth it next day. Uh, and I did the same on the brick wall. And it happens to be, obviously, now I see it, I see it, it's obviously. Um, the brick absorbs the moist. So on the brick wall, um, the, the render dries quickly. And on the stone wall, it remains wet longer. So now I can't smooth the render on the brick wall. Uh, well, anyway, it's just something to learn and to remember. Uh, and uh, I will have just to apply another coat of something. So it's all fine. It's just something that I haven't been expecting. Okay, have to mix another bucket of thing. And uh, I'm not sure where I'm starting today. On that wall or that wall. I think it's, I think this one will be it because I really want to install the sink and I can't do it without finishing the vault above the sink. So I think that will be my choice for today. The supply guy told I can come over and get the materials, but first I thought I will apply 
um, the render or into the deepest cavities. This one, so while I'm gone, it will set a little bit there. And then when I'm back, I can apply another coat. So hopefully, in theory, it well, it, hopefully it will work. Uh, you know, when you start the project, then you discover new things. But <laughs> this is my hope to fill the um, biggest cavities and then run to get more supplies. Well, it is much harder than I expected. So much harder. It will take me ages. <laughs> this is what I managed to do. And uh, the technique that seems to work is actually to, when I feel cavities like that, the whole piece, the whole chunk just falls down. Uh, so it works better if I start building from bottom and kind of glue every second every next piece of mix i glue to the wall and to the previous piece of render as well so i have to go like kind of patching from the bottom and up 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 though sometimes again the whole chunk just falls down ah and i don't know i don't know what to do well I think I have to go to get more supplies first. Question is, will the up start? Ooh, let's try. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, please help me. Mm, come on. I hope it does start, please. Yes! Oh yes, it's starting. Can you hear that? This is the sound, the good sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the project has been saved. I have enough produce now. And back to the project. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, please wish me luck. o'clock in the evening <sighs> today I just managed to do one little bit up there and this is just one bucket of mix I can't believe it it goes so so slow but trying to concentrate on good thing um, half of the worst bit is done you see this is the worst bit and almost half of it is done so i can expect another day just working on this bead once this done i hope the rest of the vaulted ceiling will be easier because it's so much smoother already and uh, i think what i will do I'll finish that corner today and this is it for today i have well actually i have half of the bucket so finishing that and this is it for today mm -hmm.